Um, my report is about something about the farmers' adaptation to climate change and the uh, extreme weather events and uh, the disaster information provided by governments to farmers. Okay. Uh, at present, the adaptation to climate change has become an uh, important uh, issue to around the world. And uh, there are many reasons for this situation. First, uh, uh, first uh, increasing extreme weather events has occurred around the world. Oh, in, fact, in particular in China, uh, the floods and, uh, and uh, drought is very uh, is a very important challenge to China. And so around the world, many policies, policy makers and researchers suggest that we should incorporate climate change uh, adaptation into national development plans. However, uh, at present, many studies focus on these issues, uh, but uh, uh, the main focus is on the African at the household level. And uh, in many other countries around the world, this uh, issue about the ab farmers' adaptation to climate change is nice. So um, in this research, I want to study the farmer, how farmers' attention responds to the government support, such as the information support and uh, under the extreme weather events. Uh, there are many interesting questions to uh, explore, such as, for example, uh, what frequency of extreme weather events has been occurring and how uh, they have affected agricultural production? Uh, how have farmers responded to extreme weather events? Uh, what adaptation measures have been adopted? Why are some farmers able to respond to extreme weather events and others haven't the capacity to adapt to climate change? Has any information supported the farmers when they face serious climatic shocks? If yes, how these policies have been provided to farmers? And how these policies in helping farmers to take a position? So in this research, we mainly focus on the two questions. How do farmers uh, adapt to extreme weather events? Uh, according to IPCC, uh, the adaptations can be classified into engineering measures and non-engineering measures, but we just focus on the engineering measures. And second, how many facts affect uh, farmers' behavior when they face extreme weather events? So my presentation may be divided into these five parts. Uh, next, I will uh, introduce this approach uh, specifically. First, uh, I will give some descriptive statistics from the household survey. And the second, we will give a econometric model about the relationship between information service and household adaptation. Mm, yeah, this uh, we mainly conducted a household and a village survey in three provinces in China, Guangdong in South China, Shanxi and uh, Qinghai in Northwest China. When selecting these three provinces, we, we, uh, we not only consider the uh, weather conditions, but also the, uh, the economic development conditions. In each province, uh, we, select, uh, we selected three countries from each province. And uh, all, the countries, all the countries should uh, uh, satisfy the following two conditions. First, uh, the countries had been shocked by a serious extreme weather event. For example, drought or flood or frost or storm surge. These four, these four extreme weather events are common in China, especially in these three provinces. Uh, 
and second, the counties had been experiencing the normal year. That is, all the counties we selected should experience a normal year and a disaster year in past five years. This, this summary approach is very important because we want to uh, explore the difference between the different years and look at, and we can look at the, the farmers' uh, behavior in different years. Okay, we also can uh, analyze the effectiveness of some adaptations of farmer adopted to extreme weather events. Okay, uh, within each county, we selected uh, three townships and uh, two villages from each township. Um, within each village, we randomly selected <coughs> 10 households for face-to-face -face household interview. Mm. In each household, we further selected two plots to, collect, to gather the information about the plots of crop, uh, different crops. Okay, this is the statics of sampling plots by crops. Uh, in this research, we mainly focus on the four crops, wheat, maize, and early rice, and the late rice. We can say that the extreme year and the normal year, uh, we get the information at these two different years. Okay. Uh, in this research, our, we want to explore the relationship between farmers' adaptation and the information service from government, mainly the local government. So we definite the dummy variable. If, the fa if this household experienced uh, <coughs> extreme weather year, then we give the one. Otherwise, we give the zero. Next, the information service data. Uh, this variable measured at vintage level representing whether or not vintage received government any warning, warning and the provincial information against extreme weather events. Uh, in China, the, this information uh, mainly comes from the local government such as the township and the county government to the village and then the village, village send the information to the farmers through many, many uh, ways. <coughs> if the farmer, if the village receives the information, we give the one, otherwise it equals zero. Uh, in, in addition to the Key variables we focused on, and uh, some other social economic data also contained uh, many, uh, including social capital, wealth, family size, age of household head, education household head, gender of household head. This information has been uh, explored uh, commonly on the African research about the farmers' adaptation. Oh, uh, okay, the plot character. Characteristics data mainly are uh, soil type and plot topographic. Okay, let's first let's look at the adaptation measures against the treatment weather events by farm households. Uh, the total we statistics this information by different crops. <coughs> the, the Winter white, the winter wheat, maize, early rice, and late rice. You can see with the engineering measures, the share of this is not uh, large because we mainly focus on the engineering measures, not considering the non engineering measures. So, these measures may be it's difficult, it's not so convenient for farmers to adopt. Um, this figure represents the uh, adaptation measures against extreme weather events by farmer households. We can see the different uh, measures, such as odd saving technologies, building systems, digging wells, doubling plastic film, uh, repairing ch channels, and updating pump equipment. But uh, 
The most sure of this is uh, from the uh, exaggerating or repairing channels. Um, we also statistic the barriers to adaptation of farmers. For example, uh, the, we can see that the largest share of this Berries is from the lack of technology and uh, information. Besides that, lack of edit credit, lack of neighbor, lack of auto, and uh, harsh natural conditions are also main barriers to adaptation of farmers in China. Uh, okay, let's, uh, let's have a look at the relationship between extreme weather events and the adoption of engineering machines by farmers. Uh, we got this information in normal year and extreme weather year. We can see that the farmer farmers get adapt, uh, farmers adopt uh, take uh, adaptation is. Uh, more in the extreme year than the normal year. You can see for the four crops and uh, the information provided by governments also is given uh, in the normal year and extreme weather year. But uh, we can see that the extreme weather year, the information is uh, the information provided to farmers are higher than the uh, normal year. Okay, uh, we also, okay. Oh, how the information service have been provided to farmers? Uh, we can see that uh, uh, the many ways, the, the most important is uh, the uh, me, uh, farmers meeting, it's from farmers meeting. And then the texting message uh, broadcast uh, calling Farmers for and the information at the farmers home, inform at home. Uh, let's have a look at the relationship between information support and the adoption of engineering measures by farmers. Uh, we can see that for 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 all the four crops, the information support to farmers are higher than the. Uh, with information support is higher than that without information surface. We start, uh, start take this by the share of plots. plots. Yeah. Now this is the uh, regression about the, uh, all the factors that determine the farmer's attention and uh, this behavior. We can um, focus on the many results we are interested in. Uh, firstly, the, the year type will uh, significantly affect the farmer's adaptation. If uh, the farmer experiences extreme weather year, the, this way improve the adaptation of uh, engineering measures. Also, the information service also have a greater impact on the farmer's adaptation. Uh, for the four uh, crops, uh, the information from the government can improve the adaptation of farmers. Okay, uh, <coughs> some really, about 10% of farmers do take some engineering measures to mitigate the impacts of extreme weather events on crop production. Uh, the engineering measures adopted by farmers mainly include digging wells, building systems, excavating or repairing channels, doubling plastic film, and Austin saving technologies. Mm. How? Uh, let's return to the two key questions. How will extreme weather events influence farmers' adaptation decision? How will information services from government and village influence farmers' adaptation decision? Okay, we gave the answer. Uh, we can see that the occurrence of extreme weather events will promote farmers to take uh, engineering measures to mitigate the impacts on crop production. And the Chinese farmers are more likely to adapt when provided any disaster only information when facing the extreme weather events. 
Also, there are some policy impl implications about this research. First, uh, policy, public policy policy in terms of disaster information service matter. Yeah, it can improve the farmers the, the probability of farmers facing to climate change. The availability of information may raise farmers' awareness of the stress posed by the changing climate climatic conditions. Uh, but uh, there is still a, a great large room for governments in China to play in providing the uh, any disaster only and operation information and other support as a government support to local farmers. Uh, uh, implications to the national adaptation plan on agriculture and climate change uh, in some other developing countries. Because in, in developing countries, uh, farmers also okay, uh, face this, uh, this same com and common issues, that is, <coughs> in when they face the extreme weather is events and the variability of climate change, they uh, face a lot of barriers to combat the climate change. So, from the government uh, support, we we significant improve this current situation. I think. Uh, there are also some re interesting researchers. For example, are farmers' adaptation measures effective? to reduce the shocks of extreme weather events. Uh, all is the most successful adaptation option to climatic shocks. Um, a priority of adaptation studies in practice because the order of the practice, the priority order may be also important for uh, policy and planning. Okay, thank you.